Hey guys, welcome back to the Midweek Escape Artist. I'm at a beautiful campsite today. I don't know what it's called. It does have a name, but uh, <laughs> it's private property. It's off the grid. It's beautiful. There's a river right behind you, which I might show you if I feel inclined. But the point of today's video is I've had quite a few comments and people asking me about how I light my camps, how I power my camps. And I think it's really important because as you start buying camping gear, it's very easy to sort of get caught up in the hype of, you know, marketing and all of that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd run you through what I've got and the pieces of equipment that I really recommend. Um, obviously, there's different budget points and I'm not telling you to go out and buy all of this stuff. But all the things that I have so far for me work brilliantly. I've never had a problem. So yeah, I think that's the idea. So first up, first up and probably, mm, yeah, let's go the most expensive first. So this is my beautiful Goal Zero Lantern. This thing is amazing because it is incredibly bright. Um, I'll just show you, like it's, it's like, it's like the sun. It's amazing. It's so incredibly bright and it can go down quite low. But the really cool thing about this one is it has a, a dual side LED. So you can light the front or you can light both, which is really quite useful. So if you can see that, that's the one side on and that's both sides on. So if you're in a power sort of conservation kind of scenario, being able to only light one side is really incredible. Um, I love that. This is a really awesome little lantern. Um, it's pretty cool because you can prop it up stand it up like that you can hang it from that as well it's got a little hanger on the top here but why i love this thing is it's also a little power bank so it's got a little usb output there so you can plug your phone or your ipad or your modems or like whatever you need so you can plug in there it's not a massive battery bank so if you do plug something in there you are going to lose a lot of light um, just be aware of that but in an emergency in a pinch it's got a power bank the other super cool thing about this it's got a little crank handle. So unless you are Hercules or you have many hours to sit and spin this thing, don't rely on that. They say for every minute of fast cranking, you get another 10 minutes of light. So if you're in a pinch, that's really, really useful. Um, I love this little thing. So it's a lantern and a power bank at the same time. It's super bright. I highly recommend this guy. Goal Zero, you guys did super well with this. I'll obviously I'll link, um, I'll put links in the description for you with all this, all these little pieces of kit. But so far, this guy is the most expensive, but also one of the most useful. So there we go. Next up, I have a little Exped mattress inflator. Now I know what you're thinking. Mattress inflator, really? Yeah. <laughs> Let me explain. This will inflate an inflatable mattress really fast it's awesome it's very very quick it comes with different little attachments you can sort of plug other things into it but the really cool thing with this guy is it's also a little lantern so i use this one in my tent it's got a couple of different settings it's bright enough to sort of see what you're doing but this is also a power bank not a large power bank but in an emergency if you need it it's there this is super useful, guys. I also sometimes use it to like give my fire a little oomph. Um, it's a little on the noisy side, but brilliant little piece of kit. Not expensive, super valuable, super useful. There's quite a few different versions of this on the market. Um, you know, little miniature air inflators, but none of them have a power bank built in or a lamp. This has all three. So super cool little piece of kit. Next up, now, I have no idea what this is called. There's no branding on it. <laughs> so I wish I could tell you what it is and what it's called, but this is a headlamp and it's amazing. It is super, super, super bright. Um, it's also got a little sort of spotlight on the side there, which is really useful. It's powered by USB, it's brilliant. So I'll just turn it on so you can see how incredibly bright that is. It is very bright. Um, I don't always use this on my head. Sometimes I'll just hang it from somewhere. It's brilliant. I like it a lot. And uh, let me just change the modes here. So there's a little torch. 
and that's a really sort of tight spotlight so if you have to like really contain your light that's the one to use um, it's also got red now the red is incredibly useful if you don't want to disturb the wildlife around you or don't want to attract mozzies while you're working that's amazing so this guy I think is brilliant it's very comfortable to wear it's not heavy it lasts forever I've, I've actually never run out of battery life on this thing I think I've only charged it once so super useful that don't laugh don't laugh at me this is an inflatable lantern yes it's solar powered as well so you can leave this out in the sun it charges up it lasts it lasts a whole weekend it's amazing it's got different levels um, so you can sort of turn it on or off and sort of it's got a flash mode and the cool thing with this is it's waterproof so we've had this in our pool we've had this in our spa I hang it up somewhere if I'm worried about rain these little things are great and they're packed down super tiny they make a ton of light I love this sort of style of lantern um, so if you're into that this is the one to get oh next up this is the Coleman Swagger Lantern this is very very recent I just got these but they are hella bright that's full brightness half half again and flash awesome beautiful little light it's tiny you can hang it up it's got its own little carabiner but what is really cool it's also got an output it's also got a little power bank in there so in an emergency you can use this to charge your phone charge your other peripherals brilliant i really like this little lantern um it's it makes a ton of light i think it's i think this is rated for 200 lumens i could be mistaken but i think it's 200 lumens and it'll run for 10 hours it's phenomenal really really good little lantern and it's tiny it packs down small yes yeah, so i've got two of these they're brilliant i like them a lot the coleman swagger lantern very very cool piece of kit now these are my babies my absolute little babies i bought these from nano flashlights australia this is a incredibly powerful flashlight it really is it's massively powerful and it runs for a very very long time um, i think the original brand name that this was under was rovivon um, these are branded nano flashlights but it's exactly the same as the rovivon lights they're brilliant so if i turn this on so that's the minimum setting look at that these are incredibly bright now you can't leave it on the setting for very long because it heats up quite a bit but in a pinch if you want to see something straight away or scare something away you got that let me just turn that off the other cool thing with this is it's got a little uv light so i mean i don't know how useful that is but it's nice to have but it's also got a little lantern function so you hang that up somewhere it makes enough light you can turn it up one more time there we go it's a little lantern little hanging light i've had these up at my previous camps like for hours four or five hours and they run brilliantly they're really really good and when you turn them off they glow in the dark i mean <laughs> you're not going to notice them in your kit they're really valuable really really useful these aren't power banks they're just lights and i think they're great so if you're investing in camp lighting or if you don't have a headlamp or whatever these things are great they come with little pen clips as well so you can clip them onto things or clip them onto tops or the edge of your tent or whatever just to make light they're brilliant i really really like those awesome little things and then guys i know you're going to laugh at me but this is a bunnings solar garden light looks pretty basic right <laughs> i tell you what this thing will run for 14 hours on a solar charge obviously it's got some batteries in there but it'll run for 14 hours at full brightness and this is a 500 lumens light it is hella bright and it's a floodlight so it spreads out really well so i use this guy to like light my fire or like my outdoor cooking area um, it's brilliant now the light is a little on the cool side so it's not going to mix well with sort of a warmer camp lights but hey in an emergency or if you need to just light a specific area like a you know a widespread area this is fantastic they're really cheap they're pretty disposable i highly rate them plus the fact that they're solar powered 
you just leave them out in the sun for a couple of hours when you set up camp and then by the time you need to use it it's good to go it's phenomenal i love this little guy it's brilliant one of the first lights i ever bought as well and then guys so this is my power bank this is the guy that i use to charge my cameras my phones my ipads all of that sort of stuff it's got a solar panel on it now if you leave this in the sun for two days two or three days you might have enough in there to charge your phone all right don't be fooled by the solar gimmick it's intended for an emergency situation so it does work but you're not going to get a hell of a lot of charge out of it um, so just be aware of that this one is quite cool though it's a 20,000 hour um, 20,000 milliamp hour battery it's also got uh, where is it now uh, sorry it had a flashlight on it there we go it's also got a flashlight on it not heaps bright but bright enough to do stuff with this has charged the camera that I'm filming on my phone as well as a couple of other peripherals many 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 times on all of my camps this is an incredible piece of kit to have so if you're worried about power worried about plugging things in whatever get one of these 20,000 milliamp hour or maybe 16 you can get away with I wouldn't go more than 20,000 because you know if something goes wrong you're you're done i'd rather get two twenty thousands or two sixteen thousands as opposed to one thirty or forty thousand that just makes sense to me this is a phenomenal little piece of kit uh, keeps my phone charged keeps my battery charged on my camera i love it so something like that is super 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 useful highly recommend it and there we go the bits and pieces you can't see right here i do have a very large solar battery um, which I don't take on all my camps. I don't have it with me today. I would have shown you if I had it, but it's a big Hyundai battery. That thing will power <laughs> kettles and stoves and ovens, and it's an incredible piece of kit, but it is $3,000, and I don't expect anyone to go out and buy that unless there's a compelling need for it. Um, most of the campsites, generally, that people go to are either powered or unpowered, so if you need power, get a powered site. If you don't need power, and you have some of these little bits you can go fully unpowered i have never had to plug anything in on any of my camps and i know that's saying a lot but it's true with all of the stuff that i've got i can power my camps maybe two days i can get away with without any power connection at all and that includes charging my drones and all of that sort of stuff so it's pretty good you've got three different power banks you've got a couple of different light options there guys if there's any questions you let me know i hope this helps i hope this kind of gets you thinking about how to light and power your camps um, if there's any questions please pop them below in the comments other than that i'll show you what these all look like tonight during our camp just to give you an idea of which light does what but yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed that guys if you uh, like this kind of content please uh, consider subscribing um, and liking this little video click the little bell icon for uh, notifications it really helps on the channel a lot but uh, in the meantime i'm going to get back to my camp and uh, i'll catch up with you again soon thanks guys